ladies and gentlemen, Trump just called for the termination of the Constitution. He said, get rid of it. You know, I mean, it, it's hilarious. They love holding up that Constitution and then they don't follow it. They don't follow the Constitution themselves. So this is the latest thing. And Trump refuses to apologize for the dinner that he had with Nick Frentes and Kanye West. He's not denouncing nothing. He's not backing away from anything. And I wonder if he's going to get them six steps or he's going to be protested. Don't look like it, does it? I have a video that I want you to hear. And I'll be right back. Good morning. Donald Trump launched his third bid for the White House just 19 days ago, believe it or not. And already his campaign and the Republican Party are being tested as he refuses to disavow the anti-Semitic and racist part of the party that he has aligned himself with for years now. Trump has been endorsed by just a single Republican senator for this third bid, Alabama's Tommy Tupperville. On the House side, his supporters include people like Matt Gates, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and Paul Gosar. His former vice president, Mike Pence, former secretary of state, Mike Pompeo, and former UN ambassador, Nikki Haley, not only they are not endorsing Trump, they're all making moves to run against him in the primaries. And though he announced his 2024 campaign so early as a way to complicate several federal criminal investigations into him, this week a federal appeals court fast-tracked the Mar-a-Lago investigation, ending an outside review of classified documents the FBI had seized from his home and freeing the Justice Department and the new special counsel to use them in its criminal investigation. So now Trump is testing the limits of his ability to be a relevant political figure. And he's testing the limits of the Republican Party as he yet again embraces this extremism and anti-Semitism. After the rapper Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, lost lucrative partnerships with Adidas and others because of an anti-Semitic tirade, Donald Trump still welcomed him to Mar-a-Lago for a pre-Thanksgiving dinner. And Kanye brought along Nick Fuentes, a prominent white supremacist, Holocaust denier, and anti-Semite. Trump has claimed not to know who Fuentes was, but he has not yet disavowed either Fuentes or Ye. Instead, Trump recorded a video expressing solidarity with the mob that attacked the Capitol on January 6th. He did that earlier this week. And then on Saturday, seemingly out of nowhere, called for the suspension of the Constitution as yet another attempt to overturn the 2020 election. Trump has been politically underestimated before with these antics. And in the end, the party has stood by him when he's been their nominee. But the backlash this time is growing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump is just being himself. So the Republicans are now calling themselves distancing away from Donald Trump after he calls for terminating the Constitution. And he still ranted about the 2020 election results. But shield, but what he did, he did shy away from criticizing the dinner. And he won't denounce it that he had with Kanye and Nick. And ladies and gentlemen, in, in fact, Trump is probably going to embrace those uh, white supremacists within the party even more. I'm just saying, see, Trump is very blatant. And these same people are complaining about Kyrie for posting a link. What Donald Trump did is far worse. And he is going more in your face about the whole thing. He ain't sorry about nothing. And he's letting you know. So they also spoke to Mike Pence. And he, of course, is trying to distance away from Donald Trump. And he doesn't even want to get into the 2020 election results. So uh, speaking Sunday on ABC News, Rep. Dave Joyce of Ohio, Republican, said Mr. Trump's notion of suspending the Constitution of Fantasy and said that Republicans should focus on economic issues that help them retake the House majority. So, you know, they just spoke to a, a different variety of 
Republicans from different states. And of course, you know, they're all kind of saying Trump is crazy. So we know Donald Trump made his announcement for the 2024 election. You know, when you get mixed opinions, some people feel that he could possibly win. And some people don't believe he has a chance at all. But, you know, only time will tell if that is indeed the case. But one thing, we haven't had a good laugh since Donald Trump left. Yeah, we see some funny stuff Joe Biden's forgetful behind us, but Donald Trump kept that entertainment going. He didn't disappoint. So Mr. Trump has announced uh, that he intends to run for president again in 2024 contest in a post on his social media site Saturday So in the morning, he repeated his claim that there was a fraud in the election. It was some fraudulent um, things going on in the 2020 election, a claim for which there's no evidence, according to the findings from former Attorney General William Barr, who completely turned on Donald Trump before he left. A massive fraud of this type and magnitude allows for termination of all rules, regulations, and articles, even those found in the Constitution, Mr. Trump wrote. Our great founding fathers did not want and would not condone false and fraudulent elections. (laughs) Please, your founding fathers were fine with thieving, lying, stealing, killing, they wouldn't they probably would have went along with fraudulent elections please so ladies and gentlemen also mike turner rep from ohio said sunday that mr trump's comments about terminating provisions of the constitution was certainly not consistent with the oath that we all take he demurred when uh, pressed about whether the remarks made him unfit to be a Republican Party standard bearer. People are certainly going to take into consideration a statement like that as they evaluate a candidate, he said, on ABC's Face the Nation. Yeah, you know, what they're trying to do is all run from Donald Trump's. So uh, so Donald Trump's comments drew a swift rebu- uh, rebuke from the White House. So attacking the Constitution and all that it stands <laughs> to the souls of our nation should be universally condemned. Well, you know, well, y'all don't follow that Constitution. Y'all, y'all need to stop. I've seen many instances where if it's not convenient, you will ignore that constitution. It really is not deeply ingrained in you like that. You try to pretend like it is, but it really isn't. And Donald Trump really does reveal that. He, you know, for in order for him to say that, he don't care about that constitution either. He don't give a crap about it. And many of the people out here that claim they do, They don't either, y'all. They don't follow that thing. Mine's will be written on toilet paper at this point. But y'all, please tell me what you think about Donald Trump is something else. That's one thing. With him being in a race, it certainly won't be boring. That's for sure. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.